Hey guys, this is Hassan and welcome to my channel Hassan Academy. So today again I am going to discuss few uh, basic chemistry concepts so that you can score few more marks in NIPAR ZW exam. Okay. So this is not like that only in important for NIPAR ZW. Even uh, any other exam, GPET or whatever exam it is, wherever basic chemistry is there, you can see or you can get some help from this video. So whoever is interested, watch this video till last because mostly I observe people watch uh, only few minutes video so this way you won't get any help either watch till last or you can skip here only so the concept is the this is the concept okay uh, wh which i am going to discuss in this video b s e p r so what it is basically balanced cell electron pair repulsion theory okay so this is a uh, very uh, simple theory from here you can find out the uh, different compound structure either uh, their geometry or shape you can uh, later on you can know about their bond angle and all these things first of all you should know uh, know how to find out hybridization i believe uh, almost everyone know uh, how to find out hybridization and all these things but still i will show here very uh, in a very easy way so that you can find out very easily or within uh, it is uh, since i am um, making video m uh, mainly for NIPAR ZW exam and NIPAR ZW exam is such an exam where you uh, must able to find out uh, the correct answer within uh, 30 to 40 second time or even less than that okay 33 second for one question that means you have to find out the answer within 20 second only or within 30 second then only it is going to help you if you take uh, two to three minutes to find out one question it is going to uh, it, it is not giving you any benefit okay so you have to be very much aware of it so i am showing a very simple uh, formula to find out hybridization okay so uh, first of all uh, yeah, just i am taking few uh, compound example so that you can know all this thing uh, very easily so this is methane ch4 so how to find out for hybridization for hybridization you should know how to find out the steric number and based on steric number only you will get hybridization what is steric number steric number is basically sum of sigma bond plus lone pair present in that compound okay so this is uh, uh, methane group methane uh, molecule and uh, here you uh, you have to take central atom central atom is very important here so carbon is the obviously carbon is the central atom here and carbon electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p2 okay and uh, what is the balance electron here so last two shell electron is called balance el electron so here carbon has four balance electron okay so these are four is balance electron of carbon and they are making one bond with each uh, hydrogen okay so one one bond they are making with one one uh, hydrogen so basically they are making four sigma bond so what will be the steric number for this methane that will be four because here is no lone pair only four sigma bond is there so this is four and once steric number is four then that uh, hybridization is sp3 hybridization okay so in this space i have I've written all this thing uh, for different steric number what will be the hybridization and their uh, geometry and all this thing so uh, definitely i am going to tell all this thing okay so this this is second example ns3 ammonia so what is nitrogen electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p3 so, and uh, at, um, outer shell electron 2 plus 3 that means 5 electron is there so these are 5 electron of nitrogen and uh, from here first 3 electron making 1 1 bond with hydrogen and 2 electron is left here and this 2 electron is called lone pair lone pair always uh, made up of 2 electron okay so what is the steric number here 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 here again 4 so this is also sp3 hybridization okay but this is also sp3 hybridization this is also sp3 hybridization their geometry is same same but their shape is different okay in next page i will tell all this thing how geometry is uh, shape is different than geometry if lone pair is present then only shape and geometry is different otherwise it is always same only so here i have taken one more example bs3 uh, boron has three electron this is three and they are making one one bond with hydrogen so definitely uh, steric number is 3 and this hybridization is sp2 here one more uh, i have taken example this is last example that is water h2o and this is very important okay and h2o oxygen is our central atom okay 
and oxygen has six valence electron okay so uh, out of this six valence electron first two making two uh, one one sigma bond with two hydrogen and four whatever left electron those four are basically two lone pair so steric number is two sigma bond plus two lone pair that is four is equal to uh, four and that is sp3 hybridization again but this is i have taken all sp3 hybridization basically other than this bs3 so that i can uh, tell you the difference this is a uh, uh, tetrahedral geometry and shape also tetrahedral because there is no lone pair but ns3 is tetrahedral geometry but their shape is trigonal uh, pyramidal but in water water is geometry is obviously tetrahedral geometry but their shape is band shape or you can say, say the b shape whatever you want to say that is band shape so shape is uh, all three geometry is same but shape is different okay if you want to take a screenshot you can take so let's go to next page here i have written all the steric number and their hybridization and their uh, geometry okay and at uh, same time i will tell their shape also like uh, based on uh, changing the lone pair how their shape is going to affect all these thing i will tell you so that uh, you can learn the things okay uh, listen very carefully if steric number is 2 then that is sp hybridization and that is always linear okay there is no lone pair or anything involved here direct sp hybridization and that is linear if sp if steric number is 3 then that is sp2 hybridization and that is uh, shape is trigonal planar okay bs3 is the example here i have said you about bs3 now this bs3 bs3 is trigonal planar and after that if steric number is 4 then that is sp3 hybridization and geometry is tetrahedral i have said already lot of things about uh, sp3 hybridization like if this is uh, like uh, for uh, uh, normal uh, sp3 hybridization there is no lone pair the, then this tetrahedral geometry and shape also tetrahedral but if one lone pair is present that means 3 plus 1 like our uh, ammonia then it is trigonal pyramidal okay if two lone pair is present then it will be like water uh, it will be band shape okay so you should know those things also because you may get those type of structure or compound they may ask even question like that uh, there is a compound which is sp3 hybridized and the, that compound has two lone pairs. So, what is the shape of that? So, the, uh, this way also they can make uh, question and uh, question came before like that also. Okay. If steric number is five, then that is ja, hybridization is sp3d. Okay. sp3d and their geometry is trigonal bipyramidal or you can say TBP. But this com uh, this geometry is has lot of importance because there is something called band's rule and I already discussed those things. If you really interested, then go to my channel and uh, initial video of my channel. Like uh, you have to go through uh, all videos and at last you will get this video band's rule and all uh, where I have discussed all the things regarding band band rule because. <clears throat> that is little bit different like a trigonal bipyramidal uh, five bond is there and out of that uh, two different types of bond out there two three bonds is equatorial and two bond is axial axial bond has higher length than equatorial and uh, there is some rule out there like uh, if electronegative more electronegative than those will be in axial position and all this thing so whoever is interested you can go there and you can see the uh, see that video here or and you can learn more concept okay uh, i have discussed in details out there and one more thing i want to say if any lone pair is present in uh, sp3 dehydration and trigonal bipyramidal geometry then that will be their shape will be uh, uh, seesaw shape okay one lone pair will be there then seesaw uh, if two lone pair is present then uh, that will be like t shape and if three lone pair is present three lone pair two bo bo sigma bond then it will be linear okay and after that six uh, uh, asterisk number six and that is sp3 d2 hybridization and that is octahedral geometry okay so this uh, even this has lot of importance and if i want to take one on okay at the end i will take one on example for everyone and if asterisk number is seven then sp3 d3 uh, hybridization and 
that is a geometry is pentagonal bipyramidal okay this is trigonal bipyramidal this is pentagonal bipyramidal so five bond will be one plane then two bond one bond will be in above and one bond will be below okay so let me tell you one one example like for uh, trigonal planar and all these thing i already discussed for trigonal bipyramidal i want to say like uh, pcl5 okay pcl5 is pentagonal bipyramidal and uh, I have made already hybridation video. You can go through that. You can see a lot of other example also there. Like for octahedral SF6, you can take it. And for pentagonal bipyramidal IF7 is one of the example. You can take it uh, as an example. Okay. So here I have. Uh, so from here, lot of question may come. Okay. So from uh, here, one more thing I want to discuss. Like SP3 tetrahedra geometry is there like uh, i already said these two things before only like uh, for ammonia trigonal pyramidal uh, shape and for water band shape then one more thing i want to say here like uh, there is something called bond angle okay so you should know the bond angle of different uh, hybridization like uh, linear has 180 degree trigonal uh, planar has 120 degree bond angle if it is tetrahedra then uh, if it is like ideal tetrahedra there is no lone pair and all then bond angle will be 109 degree 28 minute okay remember it 109 degree and 28 minute or even they give somewhere like 109.5 degree then also it is equal only because 1 degree is 60 minute that means uh, 28 minutes is approximately a 0 0.5 degree so 0 0.9.5 degree even they return like that that and that will be the correct answer okay and based on uh, their lone pair and all these things it will angle is going to sense like ammonia has one lone pair since lone pair has a repulsion more so their bond angle ammonia among ammonia nh bond angle will be 107 degree 107 degree okay but in case of water there since two lone pair is there and two lone pair has more repulsion than ammonia one so here bond angle will reduce more and it will be like 105 degree or 104 4.5 degree approximate okay so and uh, in trigonal bipyramidal there is two type of bond angle uh, one is in among uh, equatorial that is 120 degree and one is between uh, equatorial and axial that will be 90 degree okay so those things you should know uh, i think many of you know already but i have to tell you uh, still and uh, this uh, octahedra has like uh, uh, 90 degree only all are 90 degree and pentagonal bipyramidal uh, you should go through like 360 degree like five five are in plane okay so if you dis, uh, divide uh, 360 degree by five so what will be the answer uh, like 72 degree i think so that is that is uh, among equatorial just do it uh, calculation yes 72 degree and uh, among equatorial and axial it is always 90 degree okay among equatorial 72 degree but equatorial and axial it is uh, 90 degree so from there that this type of uh, question they may ask they will give some sp3 hybridization different compound and uh, they will ask uh, which one has the highest bond angle or lowest bond angle all this thing okay and uh, when i am uh, talking about since i am talking about bond angle uh, related concept so there is a concept called dragos molecule so you should uh, also know all those uh, molecule or little bit idea about that so that you can know that they are seems like sp3 hybridization but they don't have any hybridization and uh, their bond angle is always lowest okay their bond angle is approx nearby 90 degree so you should have little bit idea about dragos molecule i already made video you can go through uh, go through that so at the end i am giving one more example like xeo3 okay xenon trioxide so what is the hybridization of this and their geometry and shape all these things i have written here so xe xenon is obviously the central atom and it has it is a noble gas so it has eight balance electron uh, out of this eight six electron making two two uh, bond with oxygen oxygen is divalent uh, atom so it's obviously making two bond and out of this two bond one is sigma bond one is pi bond so you have to consider only sigma bond only okay one sigma here one sigma here and one sigma here uh, so three sigma then one lone pair is there so three plus one is four so your steric number is four since it is four so it is sp3 hybridization and uh, 
definitely tetrahedra is the geometry but what about its shape for shape you should know how to arrange that uh, structure like xc triple uh, o3 so three oxygen is here and one lone pair is there so okay this is the shape and shape is trigonal pyramidal so that is all from my side i maybe i will make one or two more video i don't know let's see uh, you don't have time and even i am lot I'm very busy this this let's see what happens so whoever has watched this video you just uh, try to learn all this thing very carefully and uh, some more concept i will discuss if you have any doubt you can send me email okay so if you like this video you can do like and share and you can keep subscribe thank you for watching this video thank you for watching this video okay thank you